Hey everyone, and welcome to Multiverse Media, the channel that talks all things geek culture. I'm Asher Friedberg, and today we are going to be talking about Spider-Man No Way Home, and what it could mean for the potential canonicity of both the Raimi Spider-Man films and the Web Amazing Spider-Man films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share to help our channel grow. Before getting started with this video, I'm going to start by saying that yes, for the record, I have seen the leaked trailer. Don't worry, I have no intention on spoiling it. The concept of this video was actually put together before I even saw it, so you don't need to worry about anything in this video spoiling the trailer. A few months back, both Jamie Foxx and Alfred Molina themselves confirmed their involvement in Spider-Man No Way Home, and slightly more recently, we got some confirmation on how exactly Dr. Octopus will be joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Molina himself explained that his character storyline Dr. Otto Octavius will pick up from the exact moment of his death back in Spider-Man 2. From there, we are set to see Dr. Octopus join the Marvel Cinematic Universe from the moment he seemingly died. Kevin Feige actually backed this up. When asked about Dr. Octopus, he said to refer to Alfred Molina's explanation. This does in fact confirm that Spider-Man No Way Home is a multiverse film, as Dr. Octopus and seemingly Electro will be crossing from their respective universes into the main Marvel Cinematic Universe. This now begs the question, are the previous Spider-Man films before the MCU canon? Let's dig into that. The Marvel Cinematic Universe's multiverse is really just forming, as Sylvie broke open the multiverse in Loki. So prior to Loki, the MCU didn't exactly have an established multiverse. I personally don't subscribe to the idea that all Marvel projects exist in the same multiverse until given reason to believe so. The MCU's multiverse is really only just being established, since we have met our main universe, the MCU, as well as other timeline variants, which are in a sense sort of multiversal characters. But as of what if, we are being introduced to full-on different timelines. Now timelines and different universes are different, as the timeline change is still at its core at one point the same universe, just with either a major or even a minor change. An alternate universe often dictates a very different world than what we have seen, although in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we have yet to actually see one of those. I know that might have been a bit confusing, so I'll make it simpler. The Marvel Cinematic Universe's multiverse is currently being assembled, and right now, it's kinda small. It's the main timeline, the Loki series timelines, and the What If timelines. But as of Spider-Man No Way Home, assuming that we aren't being lied to about the circumstances that bring Doc Ock to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, all the prior Spider-Man movies will be made officially canon to the Marvel Cinematic Universe's multiverse, as characters from the old universes will legitimately appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, opposed to just being a possible world in the vast multiverse. The way I see it, if a character from a different universe appears in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, their home universe, and everything that took place in that universe is now canon to the Marvel Cinematic Universe's multiverse. The way I expect the MCU to handle their multiverse is to sort of pick and choose what movies they want to exist within their multiverse, and make it clear and cohesive. From there, I can see a lot of films being made canon in future projects just by having a character show up from said universe. The reason I think this is because the Marvel multiverse already exists in the comics, and I imagine the Marvel Cinematic Universe will want to create its own multiverse, not being forced into a pre-established multiverse. Those are just my thoughts on if the Raimi Spider-Man films and the Web Amazing Spider-Man films are canon to the MCU. What are your thoughts on the canonicity of these films? Do you think that they will be established as canon in Spider-Man No Way Home? Let me know in the comments! Thank you all for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share, and be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you all again, and I will see you all next time.